Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the HGUC Kshatriya Repaired. Just taking a break from reviewing new kits all the time, I decided to go back and review a slightly older kit. This kit is from 2014, so not very old. Uh, I have built the original HG Kshatriya, but I've never built the repaired version, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of the Kshatriya, both this form and the original. I think the original, probably a little bit more if I had to choose between the two, but this one definitely is really cool as well, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. I picked this kit up about maybe a year ago from Hobby Link Japan. It was on sale at the time, uh, so I thought I would just pick one up. It was a pretty good price. Uh, I think I showed that to you guys when I got this in like a Gunpla delivery box. I think if you dig through uh, one of those old videos, Gunpla delivery videos, I think uh, there's probably the video where I got this kit. You can see there. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the unboxing. As you can see, it's a very large box, so. Uh, obviously I have to give you guys a wide view of my space here. Uh, just got a nice image here of the Kshatri repaired with all of the uh, kind of funnel missiles kind of shooting around here. Uh, really cool design actually. I really wish that they would have made a P-Bandai uh, Kshatri Besserung, but uh, unfortunately it never happened. This is 179 in the HGUC lineup. Uh, here on this side, we're just going to have a front and back view. Those propellant tanks in the back are going to be absolutely huge, gigantic. The Kshatriya itself is quite a large kit, then with those huge binders. And then the fuel tanks are even towering, even way over that, so it's just going to be absolutely gigantic. Kit here, obviously, with this big box. Here's just some artwork there, a little bit about the mobile suit. It didn't, this the mobile suit didn't exist like this for very long in the uh, Gundam history. Here we can just see a bunch about the gimmicks. We do have the same locking mechanisms there for the binders, it looks like, uh, that we had before. Uh, gimmicks about the shoulder, how that's articulated, how the elbow is articulated with the uh, hyper beam javelin on there. Uh, looks like uh, there are gimmicks about the handle on the leg. We have the uh, beam gatling gun built into the leg there. We have an extendable little stand here on the back of the fuel tanks just to give you a little bit extra support. This doesn't come with a stand or anything, unfortunately. Uh, the binders are able to open up. Definitely a cool little improvement in a gimmick compared to the original Kshatriya. And then just some other images here. Looks like I think we've got uh, 12 individual funnels. I think that's six for each binder. And then just a couple other details there about the head. The uh, extendable mini sub arms there inside, and then here's just an image there with it with the Banshee Norn fighting 6,500 yen for the list price for this. I think what I got it on sale, I think it was like 3,900 yen, about something like that. So about two thirds the list price is just not bad. First bag here, I can see we've got our clear effect parts for the Hyper Beam Javelin and a bunch of white, yellow parts, stickers. Some very, very large parts here. And some more green parts, gray parts, dark green parts for the torso. I'm interested to see how much of this kit is actually going to be from the original Kshatriya. I imagine there will be some, uh, like this one definitely looks like it is. Uh, probably for, like, for the leg and one of the arms will be totally original. Uh, but I think everything, most everything else should be new. So we'll check all that out. Uh, inside parts for the binders, as well as our clear blue piece for the visor is there. Uh, just some more parts, quite a lot of stuff in here. Again, very large box. And let's see, a couple of white parts there for the hyper beam javelin. Some more kind of gray mechanical parts. There's our two beam saber effect parts. Unfortunately, the, uh, the mobile suit should have three beam sabers. Uh, we only have two beam saber effect parts, I suppose. Uh, you could just borrow one from another kit if you want. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the manual. Here on the front, we've got just a nice large reference photo there of what the kit is going to look like, all painted up. Cool, all of the specs you can see there. On the back, same stuff we saw on the outside of the box, just more stuff about the gimmicks, action poses, and here's our color guide here at the bottom. Uh, opening it up to the middle section, we do have just more info about the Kshatri repaired there and at the bottom as well. On this side, about the story, I think probably just uh, its appearance there in the anime, a little bit about Marita Cruz there, 
and then other HGUC kits from Gundam Unicorn. Going to the parts list, you can see any parts, any uh, runner that has a lot of X's is probably one from the original Kshatriya. So I can see runner uh, A and B probably are from the original Kshatriya. Those have quite a few X's there. Uh, runner F maybe it looks like as well. Uh, looks like parts there for mostly the waist unit. And uh, then runner H is parts for the wing bind uh, for the binders. So yeah, going to be a lot of stuff on here that we're going to have left over. Construction is going to be starting off with the torso. Moving through that. Uh, torso, torso, that's done. Then we can move on to the head. Just a couple little steps there. Head's going to be pretty simple. Uh, then moving on to the binders. Uh, anyway, looks like uh, the tops of the shoulders anyway. Those parts of the binders. Uh, just the mechanical arm that's going to hold those. The arm, the uh, one arm anyway. The, what would that be? The right arm. And then going on to the left arm, which is just going to be very kind of just bones there with just the hyperbeam javelin. No clear pink effect part to go inside the hyperbeam javelin. That's going to be a sticker, it looks like, unfortunately. Um, there's just uh, getting into the legs. We're building the right leg first, and there's our middle page. Then building the left leg, which should be the same as the original. Uh, then the waist unit, putting that together and then connecting the bottom to the top and then we do have an action base connector it looks like in here we can use with an action base one it's a very large kit so you probably are going to have to use an action base one not an action base two for a regular 1144 scale kit probably is not going to be able to hold this uh... then moving on to the binders and the fuel tanks all of that and then just connecting that stuff onto the backpack and then a little bit of uh, gimmick about just using the beam effect parts there uh, using the secondary handle on the leg to hold that and then about the stuff in the binders. So let's go ahead and get looking at these runners. Alright, so first thing is our foil stickers. Obviously some stickers there for the sleeves markings. I think that's probably just mostly on the arm. These stickers here, they're going to be going on the psycho frame part of the hyper beam javelin. A couple other these red stripes and black circles, not sure right offhand exactly where those are, those are going. One green sticker there, I'm guessing for a camera. And then these big orangish yellow stickers there that are going to wrap around the fuel tanks. Again, SB1, just our standard 100 scale beam saber effect parts here molded in a bright green. PC116 for our sheet of poly caps here, all molded in gray. Runner A is the same original runner from the original Kshatriya. Here we've got parts in uh, that kind of orangish yellow there on the bottom, on the top, some black parts here for the sleeves markings parts, including some like for the chest piece. So like that's kind of cool. You can uh, definitely keep some of those for some other custom build or something later. And the white parts here for a lot of accent colors. Again, a lot of those you're probably not going to be using as well. Probably like half of them or somewhere around there. Anyway, so you can see here the marking uh, for this runner is just original Kshatriya there. Runner B, again, a runner from the original Kshatriya here, all molded in just that standard green color. So it's going to be a bunch of these parts here, probably half or less than half, somewhere around there, parts that we're not going to be using for this kit, including the parts for the original head there. It looks like I'm, I'm not sure right offhand if that's all the parts. Uh, if we have all the parts to make the original head, that would be kind of cool. I'll take a look at that in the review, of course. Runner C is an absolutely huge runner here with the parts for the uh, binders and fuel tanks for the backpack as well as all the little parts there for the uh, funnel missiles. And we do have two of this C runner. I forgot to mention it was probably obvious that the C runner is a new runner for the Kshatriya repaired. But uh, the D runner is back to just the runner for the original Kshatriya as this is some parts here for the legs and arms. I think probably in the original Kshatriya we probably had two of this runner. In this case we only have one since we're only building one leg and one arm. But now we're into the darker green color here for runner E. Some parts for the torso and skirt parts. Runner F, once again still older parts here, these are just some uh, mechanical parts for inside the torso, inside the skirt, and things like that. Uh, this is molded in like a metallic gray color, so that's kind of interesting. Runner G is in that same metallic color, and this is once again old parts, so we can see we're obviously not going to be using these binder parts that are meant to hold the original funnels, uh, so you can maybe use those for something, I suppose. Runner H is some ABS parts here, molded in that same kind of metallic gray though. And this is mostly parts for joints and things like that. And we do have two of this runner. Once again, these runners are still from the original Kshatriya. Runner I is just a couple little parts here, molded in this kind of dark uh, navy blue gray color. Just parts for the knees and feet. So of course we're only going to be using half of this runner as well. Runner J is our new parts for inside the binder. 
just like that. And so we do have two of the J Runner. Runner K, more new parts. These are just that same metallic gray part. Obviously, some parts here for new parts for the runner, uh, new parts for the torso, new parts for the arm, it looks like, and then I think this is a new part for the head, maybe there. And then Runner L, last bit of these uh, metallic gray parts here. These are more new parts. This looks like mostly for the leg and the uh, little stands there for the fuel tanks in the back. Runner M is going back to that dark green color here as we have some new parts for the chest and the fuel tank uh, parts there on the back. Runner M2, more new parts here in the lighter green color. New parts looks like for the knees, upper arm, and just the face part there, head parts, stuff like that. And Runner N, again more new parts here, some new, bunch of new thruster bells, the parts for the beam gatling gun inside the leg, and a couple other parts in here as well, again in this darker uh, gray navy color. Runner N2, a couple more white parts here, mostly for the hyper beam javelin as well as I believe these are going in the chest and then one white piece there for the new head. Runner O1 is the beam effect parts for the hyper beam javelin. Interestingly this runner is marked uh, as for the Kshatriya repaired. I almost figured that this would be marked uh, something related to just like 144 scale hyper beam javelin because I, I'm pretty sure these were these parts, um, if not this exact same runner. Uh, these parts had to have been included with the hyperbeam javelin that did come out in 144 scale. We are getting that uh, very soon in 144 scale in the new uh, HGUC full armor unicorn kit, but before that it was only available in like separate sets. So I don't know if that was using this same runner or if that was different or what, I don't know, but anyway, there's that. And last but not least, runner O2 is our one little clear light blue part there for the visor on the head. So that's it for unboxing the HGUC Kshatriya repaired. Looks like a really cool kit. Looks like a very large kit. So I'll be checking this out. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the review. Bye guys. See you later.